we're soaring over some of the most pristine waters this side of the Mississippi, folks. That's right, we're about to dive headfirst into the ultimate guide to trout fishing in Nebraska's top 10 lakes. Get those lines ready, bait your hooks, and prepare for an adventure, because we're about to reel in some monsters. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let's get this fishing adventure started. Lake Ogallala, a beast of a lake known for its monstrous trout and unpredictable weather. This is not for the faint of heart, folks. We need to be on our A-game, prepared for anything Mother Nature throws at us. I'm talking wind, rain, even scorching sun. But hey, a little adversity makes victory even sweeter, right? First things first, bait. Now when I'm facing off against a wily Ogallala trout, I like to be prepared with a variety of options. Power bait, spinners, lures, salmon eggs, night crawlers, you name it, I've got it. These trout are smart, we need to outsmart them. See out here it's about survival of the fittest, and right now we're fighting for our dinner. There, did you see that? A nibble. Now's our chance. Look at the size of that beauty. A prize well earned, wouldn't you say? Lake Ogallala, you've tested us, but we've conquered. Lake McConaughey, they call it Big Mac for a reason. This place is a sprawling giant, a true test of any angler's skill. Now McConaughey trout, they're a different breed. They've seen it all, they've fought it all, and they're not about to give in easily. We need to bring our A-game folks, and even then, there's no guarantee of victory. But that's what makes this challenge so exhilarating, right? Now when I'm tackling Big Mac, I like to come armed with a few secret weapons. Power bait, spinners, lures, salmon eggs, night crawlers, each one carefully chosen for its ability to entice those legendary McConaughey trout. Remember, it's not just about the bait, it's about understanding the lake, the currents, the mood of the fish. Ah, there. See that ripple? That's our cue. Cast your line gently, let it drift with the current, make it irresistible. Feel that tug on your line? That's a McConaughey trout, my friend, and it's ready for a fight. Victory. We've stared down the challenge of Big Mac and emerged triumphant. Rock Creek Lake, nestled amidst the rolling hills of the Nebraska prairie, this lake is a hidden gem. Don't let its serene beauty fool you though. Beneath the surface lies a challenge that will test even the most seasoned angler. The trout here are cunning, masters of camouflage blending seamlessly with the rocky bottom. We need to be stealthy, strategic, and above all, patient. Are you up for the challenge? Now in this crystal clear water, stealth is key. That's why I prefer lighter lines and smaller baits. Power bait, spinners, lures, salmon eggs, night crawlers, We'll use them all to outsmart these elusive creatures. See that cluster of rocks over there? That's a prime hiding spot for trout. Let's cast our line near the edge, let it sink naturally. Make it look like an easy meal. Did you see that? A flash of silver. They're quick, these Rock Creek trout, but we're quicker. Reel it in, slow and steady. Don't give it a chance to escape. Success, a true jewel of Rock Creek Lake. Remember folks, it's not about the size of the fish. It's about the thrill of the chase. Warespan Lake, an urban oasis teeming with surprises. Nestled right in the heart of Omaha, this lake proves you don't need to venture into the wilderness to find a good fight. The trout here are street smart, used to the hustle and bustle, and they've got a few tricks up their fins. But we're not backing down from a challenge, are we? Let's show them what we're made of. Now in these waters, it's all about versatility. Power bait, spinners, lures, salmon eggs, night crawlers, each one has its place in our arsenal ready to be deployed at a moment's notice. We need to be adaptable, able to change our tactics on a dime. The trout here are opportunistic feeders, always on the lookout for an easy meal. So we need to make our bait stand out, make it irresistible. See that group of ducks over there? Where there are ducks, there's often food. Let's cast our line near them, see if we can't entice a curious trout. Feel that? A gentle tug, we've got a bite, ha! Pulled in a feisty one right here in the city. Warespan Lake, you never disappoint. CenturyLink Lake at Mahoney State Park, a haven of tranquility. But don't let the peaceful surroundings lull you into a false sense of security. The trout here are masters of disguise, lurking in the shadows, waiting to ambush their prey. We need to be quiet, we need to be stealthy, and we need to be ready. Now when I'm fishing these calm waters I like to keep things natural. Power bait, spinners, lures, salmon eggs, night crawlers, all presented with a delicate touch, mimicking the movements of real insects. Remember we're not just fishing here we're becoming part of the ecosystem. We need to blend in, move with the rhythm of the lake and become invisible to our prey. 
See that fallen log near the edge? That's a prime location for trout seeking shade and a quick meal. Let's cast our line near the base, let it drift naturally with the current. Yes, a strike. We've outsmarted them. Reel it in gently, but firmly. Don't give it a chance to escape. A true testament to the treasures hidden beneath CenturyLink Lake's tranquil surface. Two Rivers State Recreation Area Lake Number 5. Two rivers converge here, creating a dynamic environment, a constant flow of current and change. The trout here are fighters shaped by the relentless power of the water. They're fast, they're strong, and they're not going down without a fight. Are you ready to test your mettle against these river warriors? Now, in these challenging waters, we need gear that can withstand the current. Sturdy rods, strong lines, and lures that can hold their own against the flow. Power bait, spinners, lures, salmon eggs, night crawlers, each one chosen for its ability to perform under pressure. See that bend in the river where the water churns and foams? That's where the trout like to hide, waiting to ambush their prey. Feel that sudden tug? That's a Two Rivers trout and it's ready to rumble. We've tamed the beast, a true testament to the power of these waters and the resilience of the creatures that inhabit them. Pawnee Lake, a vast expanse of water where the wind whispers secrets. This lake is known for its unpredictable weather, its sudden gusts, and its challenging fishing conditions. But we're not afraid of a little wind, are we? We're anglers, we're survivors, and we're going to conquer this lake, one cast at a time. Now, when the wind is howling like a banshee, we need to adjust our tactics. Heavier lines, sturdier rods, and lures that can cut through the gusts. Remember, the wind can be our enemy, but it can also be our ally. See those white caps out there? That's where the wind is creating turbulence, stirring up the bottom and attracting hungry trout. Feel that sudden pull? That's a Pawnee Lake trout, and it's ready for a showdown. We've weathered the storm and emerged victorious, a true testament to the power of perseverance. Gravel Ponds at Fort Robinson State Park, a hidden oasis of tranquility. These serene ponds nestled amidst the rugged beauty of the Pine Ridge region offer a unique fishing experience. The trout here are accustomed to peace and quiet so we need to tread lightly, cast softly, and let the tranquility of our surroundings guide us. Now in these tranquil waters finesse is key, light lines, delicate presentations and lures that mimic the natural movements of insects, power bait, spinners, lures, salmon eggs, night crawlers, all presented with a gentle touch respecting the serenity of our surroundings. Remember, we're not just fishing here, we're immersing ourselves in the tranquility of nature. See those lily pads near the edge? That's where the trout like to seek shade and ambush their prey. Patience is our greatest asset in these tranquil waters. Feel that gentle tug? That's a gravel ponds trout, and it's ready to join us in our peaceful pursuit. Chadron State Park Pond, a place where time seems to stand still. Nestled amidst towering pines and rugged cliffs, this pond is a true step back in time. The trout here are as wild and untamed as their surroundings, and they're not about to give up without a fight. Are you ready to embrace the challenge and cast back in time? Now in these pristine waters we need to blend in with the surroundings. Natural looking lures, camouflaged lines and a stealthy approach are essential. Remember, we're not just fishing here, we're stepping back in time, experiencing the thrill of the chase as our ancestors did. See that fallen tree submerged in the water? That's a prime hiding spot for trout, offering both cover and a potential food source. Patience is our greatest virtue in this timeless place. Feel that sudden tug? That's a Chadron State Park pond trout, a true survivor, and it's ready to test our mettle. We've conquered the challenge and emerged victorious. Soldier Creek Wilderness Area, a place where the wild things are. This rugged and remote area is not for the faint of heart. The trout here are as wild and untamed as their surroundings, and they're not going to give up without a fight. But we're up for the challenge, aren't we? We're anglers, we're adventurers, and we're going to conquer this wilderness one cast at a time. Now in this unforgiving environment, we need gear that can withstand the elements. Sturdy rods, strong lines, and lures that can handle the rigors of the wild. Remember, we're not just fishing here, we're embracing the wild, testing our limits and proving our mettle. See that deep pool beneath the waterfall? That's where the big ones hide, seeking refuge from the current and waiting to ambush their prey. Feel that sudden jolt? That's a Soldier Creek trout, a true warrior, and it's ready for battle. We face the wild and emerged victorious. 
So there you have it folks. We've explored the top 10 trout lakes in Nebraska, faced down some monster fish, and lived to tell the tale. Remember it's not always about the size of the catch but the adventure of the journey. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe and leave a comment. See you at the next great fishing spot. Until then, keep those lines tight and never be afraid to embrace the wild.